Hey, listen, we got to come out early in the morning and get our work done. 95% of our practices and pads are going to be in the what? Morning. I do not want to have a horse shit practice in the morning. In the old days, we'd practice in the afternoon two more times in pads. Nowadays, I get incarcerated for that. You with me? We come out here, we are ready to roll in the morning. We're going to take the training wheels off pretty soon, okay? We can only have so many walkthroughs, so many assignment periods. If you don't know what to do, you won't play here. Are we clear on that? Okay. Uh, last point I want to make. Everybody right now has dreams, don't they, guys? All right, everybody in the NFL, I have a dream of making it in the NFL. I got a dream of winning a Super Bowl. I got a dream of being in a Pro Bowl. I'm really not into dreams anymore, okay? I'm into fucking nightmares. You guys with me on that? You got to end somebody's dream. You got to take their job. You got to take their heart. Are you guys clear about this NFL shit now? We're not trying to go to the Peach Bowl. We're not trying to go to the Gator Bowl or the Blue Bonnet Bowl. We're trying to go to the Super Bowl. Y'all think DC would be mad if I hit this car? So close. The great Derek Carr. Rookie safety Jonathan Abram is a first round pick. He has expensive taste and a sweet tooth. Rookie duty. They made me buy $500 worth of snacks. It don't look like it, but it is. Five of every single snack in the store. So, giant bundles, there was five of them. Some of them were like $15, because I went to Target. They don't like Walmart snacks for some reason. They bougie. Oh! I knew it was going to happen. Don't have a lot of rules. Don't be late. Try not to be overweight. Bust your ass and use common sense. That pretty much sums it up. I do also want to reiterate, I don't want any rookie hazing, okay? Now, if you guys have them sing the fight song or something like that, I'm all for that. But be professional with these guys. They've earned that much. Did you oil up your arms before you came out here? Sunscreen. It's just preventative. I'm a dad now. If I could, I'd put the little white stuff on my nose. You know I'm all for the children. Let's not lie to ourselves, Derek. That's my wife. Oil up. Baby oil off. <laughs> the guy, he does. He does. It's sunscreen. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's actually tanning oil. Hey, well, first of all, if you guys would go work out your triceps, you'd want to put some on, too. So you're admitting it? I'm admitting that it's sunscreen. And I'm admitting, too, that you are liking my arms way too much. <laughs> to want to feel like you need to make a joke. We're just talking about it. About just talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to see me work or what? So why are you not running today? Daddy's still, feet still sore. Come on. So where's Rutherford? Huh? Where's Rutherford? He played with the Steelers. I caught a bad Derrick now. We won't play with Rockerberger no more. We play with the Raiders. We play with Derek Carr. That's my quarterback. You know his name? What's his name? Derek Carter? Derek Carr. Great route, yes. Ah, right, let's go. You like this, these offense? You like this offense? You like the offense? Yes, sir. Excellent. Great throw, Derek. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> nice, Derek. <clears throat> We're down at three. Let's take a shot. We're waiting. What's happening? <clears throat> Touchdown. <laughs> Boom! Let's go! Good ball, Derek. What's up, Derek? Yeah. Let me fix my shit, man. Number 63 defensive tackle Ronald Ali once played at East Mississippi Community College. Today, the undrafted rookie free agent is a long shot trying to prove himself. Hey, go, Ali. Get in there. <laughs> he did it once before as a fan favorite on the Netflix docuseries Last Chance You. Stop, Ali. Cause your ass told me for damn missing class and missing my meeting today. Let's go. Come on, roll them one ten. How you roll this one ten? Depend on how many more you got. Let's roll. Come on, coach. 
Non stop. If you don't stop, this will be your last one. Oh, back of the end zone. Oh, come on, cuz that's a 120. Oh, yeah, hell, I changed my mind. Let's go. That fucked up. Man, fuck. Fuck this shit. Just because he surrendered the reins doesn't mean Jonathan Abram doesn't still have the bit between his teeth. Well, you look like you ready to hit something today. See ball, hit ball. Jonathan Abram loves to swat. Maybe a little too much. 24. I love our new draft pick, but damn. <laughs> but we're not gonna fuck it like that. Hey, hey, it way different. I know. Pay. I know. But you know why they brought me here? Because I'm really good at that right there. He was so frustrated that he couldn't hit people. Yeah. He's looking at John like, just let me go, man. Use your eyes on the broom. Be careful of Abram. Gotcha. Silver, silver, shut. I would have knocked that boy block off. Hey, 2 4, what's up? He don't give a little nudge. Once you put him on the defensive, it's a wrap. What's up? Oh, oh, fuck. He just destroyed him. We're going to play down no pads on. We'll see when these pads come on, youngster. Hey, Abra, hey, this is not physical. No, no, no. Hey, Bob. Don't tell me you didn't lay anybody. Who? I don't want to see any fucking collisions in shorts. In short, can okay. I do it tomorrow? I don't want to see any of my guys get laid out. I mean, I'm a third of a month, but shit, no, I can't no, help no. it if they is, stay fall. Like, this, this, is, this is the National Football League. I don't want any fucking side shots. I don't want any side. So, I want, I don't so want. if I hit him like this, face to face, look, and he falls down, it's my fault. I can't help you. If you don't you understand, I you understand. come to see me. If you don't understand, you come to see me. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, I love the problem. aggressiveness. That's why you're here. Is it? Hey, I tell Drew I can't move. I can't run. My Achilles. You're a faster or your Achilles? It's the Achilles. It's the Achilles. I can't go. You can't go? Yeah. All right. Uh, hey, Trap, he's down. Hey, hey, buddy. You go to left tackle. We, 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 we going to need because we short, because we miss it, Ali. Ronald Ali isn't doing himself any favors. NFL training camps are proving grounds. If the kid from Last Chance U wants to have a chance to make the team, he has to show he wants it. At the very least, keep his appointments with the trainers. Hey, man, what's going on with you, man? Why you, why you ain't going to treat them no more? Ain't no, did nobody tell me to go? No, ain't nobody got to tell you. What did I, I told you. When you came to me, you said, hey, you, my foot hurt, right? Yeah. What I told you, I said, you go to treatment every day. Yeah. Here you are, undrafted Ricky, getting a chance. You got to understand what the mindset is. Because you know why? You got that stigma from, from East Mississippi, where people, everybody seen, right? Right, wrong, and difference. Everybody got an opinion of, who you are about what they saw, right? You know what? Yeah. Let's get some of these fucking guys out of here that don't want to play. You know, if we're not going to listen to the trainer, who are we going to listen to? They just couldn't. Did you get the hell out of here? Coach, you decided to cut uh, Ronald Dolly. And so, any particular reasons for that? Uh, we're in the business of, um, you know, getting better. Ali didn't uh, participate much when he did. Uh, unfortunately, we chose to go another direction. And Westbrook has a history in this league. The coaches are in a tough spot. The good news is Antonio Brown is able to practice. The bad news, he's not fully healed and he won't slow down. Go! Yeah, 
Yeah, speed is doing really well. I'm still bursty. Getting back to my running form. I think we're on schedule. Okay. AB's for afterburners. What's up? Nice, A.B. Nice. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. There you go. I should have caught that one right here, man. I was a little rusty. I said, ah, 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 fuck, I gotta go there. People of toughness, their beloved backbreaker, the seven man sled. That's the first thing we used to do. We used to start off every practice in the morning, you know, with hitting the seven man sled. That's the first thing they do. So that would get rid of all hangovers. This is the basis of football, and this is where it all starts. Let's go get the pads down. Come off together, come off. Relentless, let's roll. Everyone has to hit this sled at the same time or it doesn't work. You should hear one boom. Excellent, excellent. It should be like one person is hitting. As a coach, you see, this was always a fun thing is you would jump on here and you would be on this side of it. You even got a thing to hold on to here. See the old coach. And so you got it suddenly you say, okay, everyone up here, on two. Come on, Kai, hit this son. Hit the son of a bitch, Rover. Come on, come on. When you're a player and you have to drive that thing, it's 110 degrees out, it's tough. When you're coaching, you're just standing out here, you can ride this thing all day. There's no college two-point stance bullshit session. Get those blocks. The heart. There it is. Good job. There are fewer teams using it now, but I think that's a mistake. I mean, I think that everyone who's ever played uh, the line in his life ought to have his own seven-man sled forever. <laughs>